Hey, what's up everybody? Today we're gonna talk about the latest news here, the aftermath of our victory over the 49ers. This is serious because we sustained a major injury. Dan Bailey, he's gonna be out a couple of weeks, up to a month here. Uh, you know, kind of talked about this yesterday. They're gonna bring in some kickers. Among the kickers will be Sam Irwin Hill. If you remember, he uh he was pretty solid in the preseason for the Cowboys. You know, they gave Bailey uh, some rest there in the preseason, and Irwin was very good. Very good in the preseason. Uh, and he also handled kickoffs. He has a good leg and pretty accurate. So they're going to bring him in. They're also going to bring in uh, Mike Nugent, another uh, guy, kicker. And then um, another man another name that escapes me so they're bringing a few tomorrow on tuesday but for me i think sam Irwin hill would be the front runner they're just going to bring in some competition here and see how they how they look here uh also earlier today stephen jones confirmed that cooper rush most likely will remain the number two quarterback for the rest of the season this does not bode well for kellen moore and he could very well be the guy that it will be on the outs here tomorrow when they sign the kicker. They're not going to put Bailey on IR, so there will need to be a roster move. Kellen Moore could be that guy. Right? His tenure with the Cowboys could finally be at the end. All right, could be over for him. Uh, also, the Cowboys just to, just following up a little bit on yesterday's game. They're very effective. Uh, you know, again, we want to temper our expectations for the next game uh, against an 0-6 team. Uh, they got the job done. But what, what I take away from that game is that, you know, they were able to execute in every phase of the game uh, and have success. It gives them some confidence here. Jonathan Cooper, his third start there at left guard. Garrett looks like... Garrett, you know, kind of suggested that this is Cooper's time now. I'm going to go roll with him. And Chaz Green will be the swing tackle. All right, so that'll be good. You know, uh, Cooper's looking like he's been playing better and better. He had uh, he had some good blocks in this game, you know. Opened up the hole there for Zeke in the at the goal line. Got to the second level at the goal line and opened the door for Zeke. All right, so I, I do like that. And athletic, he can pull. Uh, you know, with some of these, you know, zone blocks that the Cowboys like to implement in their running game. Um, but on first downs, they, they rushed 14 times for first downs, 12 in passing. So, well balanced, you know, getting the first down a lot on the ground, right? And Zeke and, us, and this offensive line was a big part of it, all right? Third down conversions, 63%. That is awesome. And... They're deadly, again, in the red zone. They're one of the top-rated red zone scoring teams in the league. They were at 66% yesterday. All right, so that was really good. Taco Charlton, getting more plays, batted down a ball, got some pressures in this game. This is probably the best game that Taco has looked. I rewatched that game, and and I saw some plays there. The only thing that I didn't really like from Taco is his... Uh, his twist move he seems to twist and crash right into blocks and he gets swallowed up there um we'll see how you know if he takes that out of, out of his uh out of his you know sack moves or whatever but he's coming along got more snaps i think that was very important but if you guys get a chance rewatch that game taco had his moments all right so keep that coming along also pro football focus had a uh a chart here where the Cowboys had the second most QB pressures of the weekend, all right? So that's pretty good. You know, kind of exemplifies what the Cowboys were able to do. You know, everybody got in in the fun, the sacks, and that sort of thing. But um, we're moving on now to the Washington Redskins next week, okay? This is going to be a big game tonight. The Eagles and Redskins will face off. Hopefully, these guys will beat each other up and uh, close the gap in the NFC East. You're, you know, if you're a Cowboys fan, which most of you are, obviously, probably gonna want to pull for the Redskins here to give the Eagles a loss. That'll bring us within a a game or two. You know, that that'll get us closer. All right. So, and then we 
face the Redskins the following week. Maybe they'll be dinged up, beat up. But either way, even if they're not, we're going to go in there, punch them right in the face, right in the nose, whatever you want, and handle our business, all right? It's time to stack wins, all right? That is the most important thing out of this, all right? But those are, mon those are the top headlines here for Monday, guys. Let me know what you guys think about uh, Cooper Rush, uh, Kellen Moore, and the kicker, all right? It's, uh, we definitely need a kicker. For this game against the Redskins, we can't play around with Jeff Heath. Obviously, that was an emergency issue. He was able to get it done, but you know, and this is a divisional game. All hands on deck. We need everybody to show up here, and we need a kicker. So for me, I'm hoping it's going to be Sam Irwin Hill. We'll see who they sign tomorrow. But that's it, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you here for the next video. Thanks, guys.